Next question is from Fozzie M. Is there a way to grow shoulders and back without the traps getting too big? Do deadlifts make traps bigger? You know, okay, let's talk about deadlifts first. Uh, deadlifts build the entire back. Most of the trap development, though, you'll get from deadlifts is not the upper. So I'm assuming this person's afraid of developing upper traps. like Because the, 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 your traps have different attachments and the muscle fibers point in different they don't directions. Want the no neck look. Huh? Yeah, so you could develop the upper traps which actually shrug the shoulders which and you're getting from probably the holding process. Yeah, but when you deadlift, a lot of the developments in that mid trap area, you know, that's where you're going to see most of the development. So, can they build the upper traps? I guess if you have really good genetics for traps and Maybe, but it's more of that mid kind of trap area that you'll see near the rhomboids. These are annoying questions to me. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely annoying. But to me, this is actually and the reason I picked it. Right? A lot of because, women are, say ask this question. Right. Well, yeah, it does. And yeah, it's very, up. it's very uh, bodybuilder esque. And here's another example of like, because I know for a long time uh, we tend to we pick on machines a lot. But here's where sometimes using machines have their value when I'm trying to isolate a part of the shoulder or take out something. There's, the traps are a stabilizer muscle of the shoulder. So mm -hmm. there's, there's no way around it not working. But I'll tell you, doing something slow, controlled, and like with isometric contractions, right, and with a light weight is less likely to develop the traps than something that is done with like speed or power or like heavy, heavy loaded. Yeah. You're going to do something like that. Those those traps are going to have to stabilize that heavy, heavy load, especially on free weights compared to maybe doing something like a reverse fly on a cable machine or a, you know, a shoulder press on a machine. Like there's certain ways that you, you can do that. You know, that. it's funny. People are like, oh, overhead presses will develop the traps like crazy. I've seen more trap activation in laterals from people who do them wrong sure. yeah. than overhead presses. Sure. Laterals, first off, if you do them right, you you don't really the trap stabilize a little bit, but it's all delts. But m you see people do laterals. Yeah, heavy laterals are definitely. Gonna get and, you know, it's funny. Today, I was working out with Justin. Him and I were doing laterals at the same time. Yeah. He was doing upper back trap laterals. I was doing side. Delt laterals, right. bodybuilder versus obviously athlete. Right, and it's very different. It He's, was. Weird. I was noticing that too. I'm like, yeah. oh, I'm doing these totally different. Yeah, cell. and the, 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 one isn't wrong or the other. They're very. They're just different, right? But yeah. if you want just shoulder development, it's you keep your shoulders kind of depressed, lean forward a little bit. It's all you know here with the with the hand facing down. You want more trap development. It's gonna be a little bit more movement, a little bit more external rotation, squeezing the upper back a little bit. So laterals, in, in my opinion, are more responsible for this than anything else because a lot of people will do laterals the way you do justin because it allows you to move more weight they're not yeah. necessarily athletes they want to develop the shoulders it's like why, do, yeah, why doesn't do my this just like boil down to more focus on mind muscle connection yes yeah and so if you just want to if, if this is a serious goal of yours is to really just hyper connect to you know deltoids and and really just make sure that you do it very slow control yes and with lighter weight yeah, well, don't that, shrug that's, the shoulder that's my you're... point of the machines right so if you're if you i ideally you have the ability Right, you've worked you've worked on the mind muscle connection that you can use free weights mm -hmm. and still be able to do like what Sal, the point Sal is making right now. But a good like way to regress that to kind of get to that place is to use machines to kind of help until you get really good at knowing how to like isolate parts of muscle. Even though it's impossible to completely isolate a part of a muscle, yeah. you can do. You definitely can do. You can redirect so you have more force. You can definitely elsewhere. do a shoulder press or a lateral raise or a rear fly with very little trap involvement yep. or a lot of trap involvement. Yep. And and what really makes a difference is your ability to connect to what part of the shoulder you're really targeting and think about that as you're moving through it and avoid the you know erratic heavy kind of like movement during a, a specific movement that you're trying to target a part yeah, of the shoulder. Yeah, I mean, rows, like if you don't shrug your shoulders, you depress the scapula, bring them down and back, you're not going to use tons of upper trap muscles. If you shrug their shoulders while you row, which some people do, then you're going to get more trap development. Obviously, pull-ups, pull-downs, almost no upper trap activation because the weight's coming down. But I don't think you should just stick to that. I've had female clients or uh, trainers even say, all I do are pull-downs for my back to avoid building my upper traps and they end up developing really bad forward shoulder because yeah. they don't strengthen those mid and back muscles very well mm -hmm. and they end up with this not good look anyway so i mean avoid shrugging avoid explosive ex avoid explosive movements and <laughs> and train your shoulders and back like a bodybuilder yeah where it's mind the muscle don't train like an athlete because if you do explosive athletic type movements you're going to involve the traps quite a bit this is why it's some athletes is that you football players I don't think they ever do shrugs, but you see lots of cleans and explosive movements and they got incredible, you know, trap development. 
Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.